Hey everyone, this is Trix bringing you another video and in this video I want to talk about how to fight Incineroar. This is a very very strong grappling character and it's very difficult to get your hands on him especially if you're a character who doesn't have a projectile or any way of really camping or zoning him out. So I'm going to go over three strategies that you can use to try and defeat this character using either your combo game, your speed and agility, or your edge guarding. So let's just jump right into it. For this video, I'm not going to try and do specifically for Falco. This is going to be kind of catered towards characters that don't have a heavy projectile, that doesn't have a bomb or a charge shot or arrows or a way to really camp him out and zone him out. You really have to approach and put your body in harm's way if you actually want to put on damage. You can't just sit back. Yes, Falco does have lasers, but you're not going to win the game with that. You'll never get a kill from lasers. So one thing I want to talk about first is trying to combo this character. A lot of the time he's going to be able to throw that Nair out and get out of combos for free. He's going to try and land with that a lot and because of that I can only get what I can get. I really have to play safely, not try and get over eager or over anxious with my uh, follow ups from my up airs. Thankfully he doesn't really have a lot of fast options out of shield other than the Nair but he did misspace that. So I can typically get my uh, my jab out. If you have some sort of, if you're a character that has a multi jab, make good use of it in this matchup. Also, let's see. I'm gonna see if we can get him off stage. Let's see what he does here. I find trying to edge guard Incineroar too heavily, especially now that the meta is progressing. I know we're not very far into the game itself, but they're getting a lot better at recovering. They're not that easily gimped character that they were on day one. With the up B having super armor, they can definitely, uh, if they reverse their up B and you try to edge guard them and miss, they can actually kill you. And uh, if they're up by a stock, that can be the game. So I gotta be very careful with them off stage. I like to stick around the, just a little bit underneath the corner of the platform when I'm edge guarding, because as you saw, he did a regular get up into side B and he just missed me. So I could have punished that. Unfortunately, I didn't get too much out of it. And just like that. I just want to reinforce how important it is to stay under the corner of the platform when Incineroar is recovering because as you saw, when he got that second side B, I did lose my stock at 82%. So had he gotten the first one, I would have lost it, of course, earlier in the match. So something to keep in mind when you're edge guarding Incineroar. Kills. So dangerous. I've been putting in the work and that's the thing like this character he wants you to get in close and then mess up Let's see what put together here because realistically if I was going to fight this character in a tournament I wouldn't play Falco I'd probably go Link that would be the easy way out oh man hopefully you have a better up smash than Falco because I just straight up missed that Gonna land with Nair. I'm oh, no, with the air dodge instead. The Nair would have been predictable. Let's see what he does here. He's trying to catch on to the matchup. <clears throat> the good thing about Falco, though is at the end of his jab, he does that little back roll, which I thought was going to be a bad thing when I first saw it, because like, that looks really laggy, but it actually puts his body backwards a little bit, or moves his body back a bit, so then when you actually throw out your roll, it's kind of like an extended roll. Let's see what he does here. Not a bad punish on my part. The strategy is there, I just didn't implement it properly. Ah, he's dead. So you saw he lived at 241%. Falco has a kill confirm when the character that you're fighting does not have a Nair that gets him out of everything, like a King can rule. Ice Climber's down air is similar in the fact that you can just kind of yeet <laughs> and just come all the way down to the stage with no real problems. So. 
that's definitely a blessing for uh, Incineroar to have because he is a big body character, he's a slower character. He definitely can get comboed heavier. But with that Nair, it really does help him out. So that's the thing, like in this matchup you really have to get your damage and then get out of the way. Because you know he's coming for you. I just traded that down there. Is that that? Uh, nope, not quite. So in this situation, as crazy as it seems, since I can't really get a true follow-up with Falco, I am at kill percent that he is not. I can try and go for a gimp. Now's like a good opportunity to actually try and do it. Oh, he actually made it back. I thought he was going to try and recover low and use the up B. Just opts not to. Oof. Very fortunate to get that. I think he's dead. Yeah, that's it. So, every opportunity that you get, try and gimp him before he uses his up B. Because he can and will use it and recover with it. And sometimes you can get stage spiked by it. It does have super armor. I'm not sure if it has a certain like, set amount of super armor. Like if it's like a Ryu focus where a certain amount of damage or multi hits will get through it. Or it's just get back to the stage for free provided that he's close enough. This is definitely a character, as, as the meta is progressing, you really have to respect the fact that they can just kill you when and whenever they want. Uh, and however they want, really. It doesn't have to be a grab. It can be a dash attack. It can be the side B. It can be an F smash that comes out so quick and is so dangerous. But we out here. We made it. That's one thing that's nice about having a faster character when this is kind of like a, a Roadrunner and the Wily e. Coyote, <laughs> legitimately, where uh, you literally, your, your, your life depends on your speed and you're weaving in and out of traffic, so to speak, because we already know Incineroar hits like a truck. So whenever you get the opportunity to get in there, get the damage, and then run, this is going to be one of those matches where you're going to have to take your time. You don't get to just go crazy and get those 70 and 80% combos that you want to get. Especially with somebody like Falco, who does have the, uh, the tools to get it done. Oops. So right now, I got him in a pretty bad situation as far as not in the lead. And I'm making him throw, uh, push a lot of buttons, kind of just throw himself around and hopefully hit me. But that's like that's the main thing. You got to keep keep him moving, keep him whiffing moves. Get him to throw out that lariat. That lariat is the golden ticket to uh, this matchup. If he throws it out and he does not hit you, you have all day to punish that. You really want to try your best to get some sort of move that you can get a follow-up on. I wouldn't try and stand in... Um, throwing a charge shot in front of him. I just wanted to point out that after I got that up throw into up air, I went back under the platform anticipating that nair and escaping a potential punish for my follow up. Which would have put on about another 13 damage and even worse would have probably hit me off stage. Which of course if you can avoid that situation at all costs, just keep sharking underneath platforms when you're doing your follow ups. And that's part of the strat right now, is just trying to overwhelm him with your movement. Inklings would have a great, great um, matchup with this character. They do have different tools, of course. Not every character is the same. That's Thankfully, that's how Sakurai made it. So they're all absolutely unique. But the principle behind trying to overwhelm this character and throw, have him throw out those laggy moves and then punish them however you can, even if they're just small chip damage, that's all you can really get. You can't run in 
and you can't really trade with this character. Maybe somebody like Ryu or Ganon or Bowser could uh, trade with Incineroar, but a smaller character like a Sheik or a ZSS or a Pikachu or Falco in this case, that's just, that's not the way. Gotta take what you can get. My combos have been, not even really combos, they've just been strings and follow-ups and just taking advantage of opportunities like that. That might be, that's almost death right there. See, because that's so powerful. That's his first, first real grab on me. So now, he's probably going to be looking for that grab. He might even want to try and change, uh, stand behind me on stage. And, uh, try and get that back throw. You see, that's a very leggy dash grab he has too. So you do have the opportunity to punish that, even if it's very small punish. There you go. Oh, the, he just quit. The man quit. Nah, I don't know about that. Hopefully not. <laughs> oh no, not like this. It was going so well. So, in this game, I'm actually going to try and be more aggressive and try and get some edge guards on him as much as I can. And see see what happens if I go off stage. Like these, these are not ranked matches, so I don't have to be super careful. Because I tried playing the, the deking in and out way. I tried um, just being very careful, and now I'm just going to be very aggressive. I'm not going to try and be reckless. Of course, there's crazy, and then there's, there's aggressive. I'm interested to see. Oof, you went, you went for the style and it worked. So right here you see one of the many dangers of going off stage against Incineroars. If he gets you with that side B, it is very, very difficult to react to that and try to recover based on the stage spike or if you're going to get gimped. So something to definitely look out for. I probably could have recovered had I not used my, uh, my air dodge. I was, I was trying to get ready for the tech. Meanwhile, there you go. Just gotta try and gimp him off stage as much as you can. Thanks for checking out the video. Hopefully, you found this information useful if you're struggling in this matchup. I try my best to try and showcase three different styles of how you can either edge guard this character, rush down this character, or space him out, provided that you don't have any projectiles and you have to use your body to actually get damage. So, if you did enjoy this video, please be sure to share it with anybody else that is uh, definitely trying to get into the Smash Ultimate competitive scene, or anybody you know that might be struggling with this matchup, or if you just found it useful and you think other people should know about it. Every share is definitely appreciated, and uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel for a lot more videos coming almost every single day. Thanks again for watching.